my name is Lenka Oshri. Welcome to Skincare with Lenka. Today I had my eyebrows done. So I had my eyebrows done six weeks ago uh, with a microblading technique. And today I had touch up and micro shading done. Um, so let's see how my eyebrows looks, uh, look just a couple hours ago. So this is the eyebrows after first session of microblading. Uh, this is six weeks after the session and you can see there's still some spots that need to be filled in. See the other one. Uh, same one, other one. And today Nicole will do touch up and she will do also the micro shading. Today my eyebrows were done by Nicole from Hanico. She is amazing, so let's say hi. Hello, how are you? Very good, thank you. Let me help you. Yes, chef, thank you. Do you wanna uh, you know, open? Oh, no, 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 you wanna <laughs> take that? Too, okay. And I'll grab my two bags. And then I'll come back for the bed. Okay. So take some meals? No, it's all right. So how have you been? Yeah, how have you been? Very good, very busy. So I'll just you know, slide it out of that heavy though. Well, maybe I like yeah. to handle, you know what's <laughs> <laughs> There you go. And then this goes on the shoulder, good. and here we go. I'm gonna carry my bed around. I actually like how they've healed. They've healed very nicely. Yeah. There's some a little bit patchy little bit. over there. Yeah. Oh yeah, there we can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the touch up in the front here with my microblading blade, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to shade the rest of the brow in. So it mm -hmm. gives it that more of a, a powdered look effect. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to do that for you today. Perfect. So you're gonna do a numbing cream first, right? Yeah, yeah. so yeah. numbing cream first. This is just the topical anesthetic which numbs the dermis, which is the top layer of your skin. Um, once that is numb and we put it onto the table, then I will do the same technique as I did last time where I take a little three-prong needle and I make slight little scratches on her brow, which slightly opens the brow for me to be able to put my second anesthetic on which numbs the epidermis which makes it almost a complete pain free session. <laughs> so this is the first numbing cream, this is the one that numbs the dermis which is the top layer of your skin. And as you can see I do put on quite a bit, I'm very generous with my numbing cream to make sure that my clients feel as little pain as possible during the whole process. Okay, and then while that sits like that, we put on some cling wrap and this just preserves the numbing cream and helps it to settle into the skin quite a bit more. So it looks a bit funny for now, but <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Everything is sterile, everything is completely sealed. So I use disposable, so I never use the same thing on a client mm -hmm. twice. Uh, as soon as it's done, it gets chucked away in my shot container, so mm -hmm. it's all protected. Once this fills up, then I go to my nearest pharmacy or I go to the nearest doctor and I just actually empty it into their shops and they just discard it. They will phone the people who, you know, deal with all the needles and stuff like that and come and have it removed. But yeah, everything is sterile. I use gloves, I use bioscrub, I use this trusty stuff over here which I actually put in the water. So it's, what I do is I put it in the water when I clean your eyes mm -hmm. as well. So it keeps your eyes completely cleaned at all, time as, at all times as well. 
And then when I'm done, when I get home, I actually use this and I take everything out of my box and I disinfect all my surfaces. So everything's like completely sterile, completely clean. So you don't have to worry about, you know, any unhygienic yes. nonsense coming into the house. Okay. You remember from last time, so what I do is, is this little machine over here. Mm -hmm. So this is the same machine I'm going to be using to numb your brows with and also to actually shade it in. So I don't change the needle because obviously I'm only using it on you and it's the same length, the same type of needle, a three prong needle that I need to shade your brows over here. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is initially we're going to numb this, we're going to numb the brows. We're going to do the three step again where we, you know, open the brows up, put the numbing cream and do that three times over. Once we've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just slightly draw an outline of your brow. No mapping is needed, so it's not like extensive again. It's just to get the shape of your brow again. Mm -hmm. Once that is done over there, then I'll start your microblading in the beginning here, as we did before. I'll start to a certain point and then I'm going to stop. And then from there, I switch positions. I sit like on this side of you and I'll turn your face like this. And then I start shading and I shade from this side towards the inside. And then what I'm going to do is, before I start that, I'm just going to double check your lines over here and just see maybe on the top, just maybe make a few more crisper lines over there and then begin the shading. And then I'll do the same with that side and I'll go yeah, this All right. Side. Sounds good. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my brow pencil and actually just do a thin outline of your brows as they are now mm -hmm. before we start, just so that you could also just double check it again. Thankfully now, what usually takes most of the time is when we actually have to brow map, you know, with the string and the caliper and stuff. But because your brows have already been done and we already have this shape and it's, it's healed quite nicely so we can see it clearly, I'm just going to go now with pencil and mm -hmm. actually just outline your, your brow shape as it is now. Still good? Mm -hmm. In the middle was not a teeny tiny more sore, but still good. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to now go over onto your arch over here again, just to define those lines a little bit more. Let me know how you feel there. Because if this side's a bit, bit more sore, then you might feel it on this side, so just let me know. How's that? It's manageable. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Still okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to let 
this I now sit with the numbing cream a little bit as this one is also just sitting now with numbing cream and I'm going to take both um, clean both brows and just see that the lines obviously are even and everything like that and mm -hmm. then we will if, if I'm happy with that then I'll start the shading okay go over these lines over here that I've made you should be numb there now like completely if you're not please let me know how's that still a little bit still a little bit yeah last time was like uh, yeah. working much better I, I jinxed it <laughs> spoke too soon <laughs> it just could also be because of your previous microblading so that's why, I, like I said before, I don't go into microblading sooner than six weeks, any microblading that I've done, because the outside might look like you've healed, but the inside takes a while to heal. Mm. Um, but it's safe for, the, for me to go in after six weeks because the skin around each incision has healed properly. Mm. Uh, but it could also just be tender. That okay. Mm. I'm gonna put some more money mm. So that the outline should be done. So it's literally just underneath just to get that definition. Mm -hmm. So now it's literally just going to be that scratches like this when you feel that. Is it okay? A little bit sore? Mm, just a tiny Okay, if it starts getting like really sore, let me know and then I'll put some numbing cream.
have it. It's, it's really nice. I like it. That's good. Is there cool. anything that you see that we can... No. Do? Thank you, Nicole, for coming and doing my amazing eyebrows again. Uh, so just explain us quickly what is the aftercare. Okay, so... I'm glad you love your eyebrows and um, today's session actually went really well and to actually sit and see how your brows healed after the microblading and then allowing me to have the option to be able to shade your brows so that you can have experience of you know both different types of um, techniques on your brows so thank you for that. Um, when it comes to aftercare, aftercare will be exactly the same as it was before so for today you're going to every hour take a cotton bud with some cooled boiled water so boil the kettle let it cool down put it in a bowl and you're just going to slightly wipe the brow not hard don't put too much pressure just slightly wipe the brow because what's going to happen is your body's trying to heal now so it's going to produce lymph fluid which is that clear fluid which wants to create scabbing so we want to prevent the scabbing again in this instance um, so you're going to do the exact same thing you're going to just wipe the brow as soon as you wipe the brow, you're going to take a tiny pinhead drop of the ointment that I give you. And you're going to just dab it onto the brow just to keep it a bit moist, which prevents it from scabbing and prevents it from drying out. So it just helps the, the whole healing process um, for the next 7 to 10 days. Um, from tomorrow, you're going to stop the wiping. So tonight, you're going to put it on just a little bit thicker. And from tomorrow, when you wake up, every two hours, two to three hours you're going to keep putting the ointment on and also just judge it yourself if you see it is starting to look a little bit dry then add some ointment mm -hmm. um, because that's the main thing of the whole healing process to to heal properly you've got to try and prevent as much scabbing as possible it does flake this flakes just as much as what microblading does just to also remember don't pick the flakes don't pick it if it does scab at all don't pick pick any of the scabs and um, just be very gentle with your brows because it is like a wound basically so you're gonna you have to have that you know proper aftercare i'll also give you a form which explains all of this information to you which just helps you if you you know you're feeling a little bit concerned and you don't understand just read the form it does explain it all to you okay. but yeah so it'll take about seven to ten days My, minor itching um when i did my shading uh it itched around about the fourth to fifth day and it did flake quite a bit um, towards I'd say the seventh day like the itching was I think more intense and so I'd just take the back of my knuckle and I would just push against it just to prevent it because you don't want to touch it or hook it you know you don't want to yeah. pull any of the scabs out because pulling the scabs that will just result in pulling the pigment out mm -hmm. and it's going to heal patchy, patchy. All right. um, and then lastly to remember it also does fade um, well when you're reaching about the second week it looks like it goes away the pigment actually pulls further into the skin while it's healing and then you're going to think that it's faded or it hasn't worked and you're probably going to phone me in a panic and be like nicole it hasn't t it hasn't took what are we going to do um just don't fret uh, around this fifth to sixth week it pulls back again right. and that will be the, the the healed color that you'll see which will be about 30% lighter than what you have right now. Perfect. And just um, tell us where the viewers or potential clients can find you. Yes, of course. So I do have obviously my social media pages. Uh, on Facebook, I will be under at Honeycold Beauty. On Instagram, it's underscore Honeycold, underscore honey as in honeys and bee honey, and coal as in C O L E. Um, I am mobile, um, but I'm also now offering a base from my home, which is in Virginia, Durban North. And yeah, if they would like to add me on WhatsApp, they're more than welcome to find my number on all my pages um, for more information and for bookings. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you, Linda, for having me. <laughs> That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It means a lot to me if you do. Ciao, see you next time.